Hold on to your shorts, cause we're making crispy ch- Hold on to your shorts, we do a lot. Do we? Hold on to your nuts, cause we're making crispy chicken wings three ways. I didn't mean nuts. I mean, just hold on to yourself because these are gonna be good. Now here's what's important. There's a bunch of ways you can get chicken wings crispy. I think the obvious would be deep frying them. And you know we have a deep fryer and we like to use it. We also have cast iron pans, we like to use those. But today, a simple method to let you get crispy wings in your oven. And I'm pretty certain if you're watching, you have an oven. And if you don't have a big oven, you got a toaster oven. And boy, you can do the same thing in a toaster oven that you can in a big oven. Are you saying college kids could do this in their dorms in toaster ovens? Yes, exactly what you said. And you should do this. Don't eat the shit food at college. We do need to do like a college thing. We're gonna start we've been, dorm fires now. We've been getting, we've been getting asked, asked to do that. Yeah, so anyway, um, three types of uh, wings when we're done, but we treat them the exact same way to get them into the oven, all right? And those will start right here. Quick, what are those? Wings. Naked yes, wings. naked wings. Chicken wings. Oh, that's chicken wings. Naked wings. Naked chicken wings. Yes, that's exactly right. They're on paper towels because you want these dry, super dry when they go in the oven because that's the way they're going to become crispy. So they're pretty good. Let's just do one more thing. We'll give them one more pat down on top like this. Look, hardly any moisture coming up. That's good. And then... Well, let's see if this will work. One, two, three. Now we get rid of that and that and that and do that thing again, except on this side, like this. Really, you do want them very dry, but we're gonna do one thing more to them to ensure the crispness. Okay, let's put these in a bowl to deal with them much better. I'm losing wings. That was about as inelegant as I have ever been. Perfect. And you're usually so elegant. <laughs> this is, yeah, this is not the super elegant show. This is the not very elegant show. Should okay. A, should we get an inelegant montage? No, do we have to? Please. Okay, couple things at this point. Kosher salt and pepper. A little bit. A little garlic powder. And now do this, mix them around a bit, and just do a little bit more of the salt and pepper and the garlic powder. Okay. The one thing we're gonna add that will help getting them crispy will be baking powder. And we don't need a lot. Maybe a, like a teaspoon and a half here. Two teaspoons for all of this. This is the trick? Yep. This will help dry out the skin when it's in the oven. But you don't want to put it on and then leave it like an hour because it'll start to get like a sort of a mushy paste and that's not going to help anything. So when you get these guys good and mixed like this, then they go on a rack on a baking sheet. Rack on a baking sheet and we're going to flip them halfway. So I'm just going to spray the rack. I don't like it when this stuff sticks. And now these can come on and we'll spread them out evenly. Try and go skin side up first, if that makes sense. I think it should, mostly. So everybody facing up, and away you go. And these, as you can tell, are a combination of the drums, the little drummy guys that look like this, and the flats, like this. And you know they're together like that. Beautiful, All right? Perfecto. My oven is at 450 degrees. In they go, we give them 25 minutes, we turn them all over. Give them another 20, 25 minutes, out they come. While they're in the oven, we make three different sauces for them. You dig? Yeah. Max? Yeah. <laughs> one sec. All right, here's the lineup of sauces. The number one is a, we'll call it a dry Parmesan garlic. Dry in the sense that it's not a wet sauce that goes on at the end, right? Everything comes out of the oven and then they get coated in something. This will be the driest one, so we'll make that. Then we'll make a, a Korean honey garlic with gochujang. We love that. The red pepper paste that is so uh, hugely full of flavor. And last but not least will be a cilantro and serrano pesto. A little spice, 
Little change from regular pesto, not basil, but cilantro. And if you hate cilantro, well then, I don't know. People hate it. Substitute for uh, basil, you'll be fine. Or green onion, you'll be fine. It's all good. But let's get the, the first one made, the parm. Okay, so this first one is a really easy. Here's what we're going with. We're gonna go with about a quarter cup of olive oil. Nice. And then we're gonna add some herbs. First will be, I don't know, some thyme. What does that look like, a half a teaspoon? Yes. I can't measure. Mexican oregano, any oregano. Salt and pepper, smoked paprika. It'll just give it a smoky little hit. And uh, hello, hello. Nice, and a little bit of color. Some more garlic powder. Ugh. What a mess. And we mix. So when these wings come out of the oven, the ones that get this get tossed and then they get Parmesan on at the end. Look how beautiful that is. Here, Max, I'll make this beautifuler for you. Yes. Nice color, right? That's gonna be good, okay. Number one. Hey boys, what kind of uh, YouTube channel is this? Cooking. Excellent. So why then would we be sending people away from our channel to buy food from somebody else? Why? Rhetorical question. Please don't answer it. Because when it's HelloFresh and there are so many really delicious recipes to choose from that lets them save time, save money, and the end result is stuff on the table that everybody sitting around goes, oh my God. Who made this? Look, of course we're trying to teach people to cook, but that doesn't mean that sometimes you don't wanna have to think about it. HelloFresh comes to your house, one box, the proteins are in it, the vegetables are in it, the, the spices, the seasonings, everything you need to put together a gorgeous meal. You want an example? Okay, I'll show you an example. Mushroom and herb shepherd's pie with white cheddar mashed potatoes on top. Picture looks good, but guess what? The actual food looks even better. Gorgeous cheesy mashed potatoes on top. There's thyme in here. And look down here, rich onions, carrots, and mushrooms. Oh, come on, with a gorgeous sauce. Mm. But here's one of the things that makes HelloFresh so amazing. This little packet is mushroom concentrate. Uh, where are you gonna find that? Exactly. They give you this so that becomes over the top delicious. And remember this, you're gonna save time. You're gonna save your stress. We all wanna save our stress. And it's a really flexible system because if you wanna add some meals, you wanna take away some meals, you can do that. They're just the loveliest people ever. So, okay, do this. Go to hellofresh.com, use my code STCG14 to get 14 free meals plus free shipping. You do that, you could be eating things like the beef flauta supreme or the balsamic fig chicken. Both amazing things. Okay, that's hellofresh.com. Use my code STCG14 to get 14 free meals and free shipping. You gotta love these guys. Number two, we make in a little pot because it's gonna have to heat up a little bit to become more viscous. Is that the word? I hope not, I don't like it. Viscous? Does that not Just mean- never say that again. More liquidy? Th more liquidy. Yeah. Leave so. <laughs> All right. You're a viscous. Your mom's viscous. Okay, here's how this one goes down. We're gonna start with a ton of garlic, and ton's gonna be like, oh, I don't know, seven, eight big cloves. So start squeezing away. That's what she said. And while I'm, it's been a long time since we've had one of those, Max. See, poor Chance and I have been getting shit because we like that garlic paste, and this would not be a time for the garlic paste. This is a time for real garlic. I don't know why people get on our case for that. I don't understand it, Chance. I don't know either. It's just not right, honestly. So here's a couple cloves together. All right, so as I use this garlic press that I will not attribute a name to because the marketing people of this company are a bunch of dough heads, we have 20 of these that we've decided we're gonna give away in a mystery box situation to celebrate us hitting 3 million subscribers. So. If you're not a subscriber, now would be the time to do it because that way you'll be eligible and it will also get us there faster, thereby getting 20 somebodies a mystery box worth anywhere from, well, I can't say, but it'll all be good and you'll be happy. All right, I think I got about six or seven cloves in here now. Moving on to the other items. Let's go with like uh, three tablespoons of honey. One, two, three and then an equal amount of gochujang, and this is gochujang, right? 
It's the red pepper paste that is so good. It's fermented. It's thick and dark and rich and looks like this. Oh, the smell. <gasps> I'm in love. That's probably two. Stuff just never wants to come off though. That's why you have to heat this. So we'll do this with it. Perfect. Just a couple more things. A little bit of soy sauce to thin it out. Like about a tablespoon. Just for a little um, vinegar kick. A little rice vinegar. One, two tablespoons of that. About a half a teaspoon of sesame oil. Boom. And that's it. This is gonna go in the heat. That will start to thin up and be delicious. And our last one, the cilantro pesto, starts with a processor. All right, the cilantro pesto begins with the processor and a serrano pepper. So a serrano is definitely hotter than a jalapeno. So we'll take out the seeds. Look, feel free to use them if you want, but I think the thing to do is get rid of them. I, I like spicy food, but the seeds in a serrano take it, for me, a little bit over the top. So we'll do this. We'll chop this guy up into smaller pieces. In fact, I'm gonna hold back a little bit. I don't wanna make it too spicy. So I'll throw this in, along with two cloves of garlic. And before I put anything else in, I'm just gonna give it a little whiz around. That's a technical term, right? Mm -hmm. I find the garlic gets mashed up better this way than it does if there's a whole bunch of other shit in here. And it's fun to watch. Okay, now the rest of the stuff. And that will look like this, one being a big ass head of cilantro that I'll put this much in. I have a half a cup of pecans we'll be using. They'll give this a lovely flavor. Hit a salt and pepper. This is gonna get whizzed up. Yes, it's noisy. And then with the motor running, we'll slowly drizzle in some extra virgin olive oil. Like this. About a quarter of a cup. Stop. Let's see what we're dealing with here. So it's getting there, but you can see this. That's just too darn dry. So try and bring everything down off the walls as much as you can. And some more. Oh, now, look at that, damn. Now it's beautiful, huh? That, pretty? Gorgeous. Smells amazing. If you hate cilantro, you probably turned off by now. If you love cilantro, you're in for a treat. All right, that's ready. It just needs the wings. Let's go check the wings. We should be at about the uh, halfway point and ready to turn. And after about 25 minutes, here they are. And they look boring AF. Am I right? I can see them starting to get crispy though. Yeah, listen. Wow. Like it, it's happening. But so now what needs to be done is they need to be turned. And I should have brought tongs out with me, but I'm stupid. God, why? But you notice they're not sticking because I sprayed. You know, I think people feel sometimes like that cooking spray is not, I don't know, professional or, or good thing to do. I use it all the time when I put stuff on the grill. Right, boys? Yeah, you always spray. I always spray. I mean, I don't want my stuff to stick. Sometimes it does, but most of the, oh, these are hot. Surprise. They came out of the oven, fool. Ah, but don't think that using spray is like cheating or something or like a baby move. It's not. Like you want your food to work out. Does it really matter what you do to get to the end point of it being delicious? No. All right, these guys are done. I think I got everybody. Okay, another 25-ish minutes and then we eat. And here we are. So here's my move. Uh, they're done. I throw the oven on to broil and I give them about uh, three, four minutes on each side. And look at them. And they're crispy. And they're beautiful and I cannot freaking wait to have them. But we got three different sauces. We got to dress them three different ways. So let's begin, shall we? First up is the Korean honey garlic. Remember this one? So it was all super thick. I've now just thrown it on the heat to melt everything into one gorgeous, beautiful, viscous, whatever that means, amount, mass. Okay, so we take a bowl and we throw, I think I counted, there's 33 of these, so 11. Three, six, nine, 
10, 11. Nail some of this. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So now they get this. They get tossed beautifully. If you think you want more sauce, hey, give them more sauce. This is all about you. I want more sauce. Damn, son. Look how pretty these are. And when everybody's coated beautifully to your liking. All right, so let's take these guys. We'll try and self-contain them because we need three different types of wings on this. Oh my God, I'm so happy about this. I want every one of these right now, like this. But wait, don't stop there because they get some seeds. Okay, next up, the pesto. So let's put our wings in here. Six, 11, here's their pesto. Our cilantro pesto with serrano. By the way, I tasted it and I was right because a little less of that serrano was the perfect amount. So these guys. A hint of green, but the serrano's coming through. The, the, the cilantro's coming through. Oh my God. All right, next batch in. Come on, kids. Everybody here. Nobody touch anybody else. Keep your wings to yourself. You see, the normal thing somebody would have said would be keep your hands to yourself, but they're not children. Eh, forget it. You're just so clever. <laughs> Thanks. Oh my gosh. Okay, next and last, the garlic parm. Here we go. Everybody in. Now, two things. You'll remember this one, the garlic, the smoked paprika, the oil. Get a little love here. But wait, because then, one more thing. And the one more thing is grated Parmesan. Like that. Shit. Shit. Hell and damn. Sacre bleu. This is amazing. And these guys, we can just put right down like this. A tiny bit more of the parm. There we are. And as they say, folks, that's all she wrote. I'm getting too anal now, but watch. I have to. Just a couple small changes here. Okay, three wings, three ways. Sorry, 33 wings, three different ways. Sniz up. I love this. I want to eat every one, but I won't. Promise I won't. I mean, I'm just waiting to decide which one I should have first. And we'll just go from uh, my left, your right. These little garlicky parm with the smoked paprika. Uh, it's going to make a very happy bite for me. Yep. I gotta smell everything first. Mm. It's the dry one. Mm. Lots of garlic, smoked paprika, and the parm. What's not to like? But wait, don't go away. Because now we have our little cilantro pesto friend. Or as they say in New Zealand or Australia, pisto. If you want some nice, wrong accent, I can't do it. Perfectly cut. Mm. It's your heaven. It's heaven. I'm a huge pesto fan. I put that shit on everything. But this cilantro serrano version kicks the crap out of the other ones, I think. And finally, our little Korean honey garlic. Stop it now. Just stop it. Gochujang, I love you. I love gochujang. And if you've not had it, I say all the time, a handful of other people's condiments in your pantry will change your food world. Change it. Get all these, make all these. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. We're coming up on three million. There's gonna be amazing, fantastic prizes. And give us a like if you like us. If you don't like us, then why did you make it to all the way to the end of the video? It's a good question, isn't it? To yeah. see you fuck up. To see, what? And then hate on you. Stop it. Are you hate watching out there? It's all right. I do some of that myself. Thanks, everybody. Don't eat the same thing all the time. Peace.